Okay guys, what I thought I would do today is do a quick tutorial on how to do a cathedral window. So this is done in Fusion 360. And what you saw with the first movement is to move horizontally 1.75 inches and then up 7. Uh, the purpose of that center line is to create a mirror. Uh, you'll see that in just a minute. This is a three-point arc. And here I go with doing a mirror effect of those two lines with the center line being the reflection point and that creates the general outline of the window. I have basically going to use an offset tool to pretty much set this to give the window frame its thickness. So I'm doing a, a negative offset to set that point and you'll kind of see that here in the, with the dimensions. The next step that I'm going to take is to uh, perform what's called an extrude function and this is what takes the two-dimensional sketch into the third dimension which gives it some thickness so I'm actually going to do a, a two-way extrusion uh, the first way is to come out towards the screen and the other direction is to go back to the purpose for this is uh, you'll see here just a minute when I extrude that middle plane uh, for where the, the, the rest of the window will go so I'm going to do the same thing here. I'm going to extrude this, but I'm only going to extrude it out towards us. And that's the purpose for rotating the, the uh, image that way. And so you'll see I set that dimension there for an extrusion. Pull back into the frontal view. And then I'm going to start to create some details here at the bottom of the window uh, with respect to some additional sub-windows. So I'm going to use what's go back into the, the sketch mode of Fusion 360 and create three vertical boxes that I'll actually convert into sub-windows. Uh, so I'll do this one here in the, in the center first, and this will become a little bit more clear why I'm starting in the center. So I'm going to use a center square tool, um, set the length and width, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a pattern horizontally, and I'm going to select each one of the lines of the, um, of the uh, box right after I create the circle. Uh, to give the, the window or sub-window a little bit more depth and character. So I'm going to create or remove all these uh, sub-components in here. And Fusion 360 Expert will probably tell you this really isn't necessary, but it makes me feel more comfortable about the, uh, the next step that I'm going to take here. So for uh, creating that pattern of windows at the bottom, I'm going to create use this tool right here. And then I'm going to select all the components of that sub-window and I am going to use this little arrow here to horizontally move it out, then come over here to the dialog box and make it uh, symmetric so that it spreads the window openings out. Uh, the next step, I'll move it around a little bit so that it's centered and doesn't impact the window too much. So the next step is I'm going to come up here to the top and I'm going to create a kind of a, uh, a center window at the top of the screen uh, and put a little small simple design in the middle and as you kind of take your time and practice doing some designs, you can kind of come through here and modify this however you want to. Uh, next, I'm going to create an offset of this circle. Um, and as, as I go through the design, you'll, it'll be a little bit more clear why I'm doing this. Um, but this is going to give it some, uh, some depth of this inner circle a little bit. And I'm going to create an offset here. And then I'm going to come in here and I'm going to create a series of perpendicular squares um, or triangles, I should say. Uh, sorry, rectangles, um, change up the, the length and width a little bit and put a little circle at the top and then put a, a cross in here uh, that I'll extrude out and, and leave an opening to give my window a little bit more character and make it a little more unique. So the purpose of, of going through this exercise is so you can create your own windows. So you'll see a lot of folks using the same window designs and, and other designs from um, Thingiverse or other platforms that are great if you're just beginning, but if you kind of want to take your window design or, or other things for dioramas to the next level. Um, Fusion 360 is a, a great tool. I've been using it for a couple years and it's what I primarily use for uh, designing some of my props, uh, both for myself and for other people. So kind of like I did down below, I'm kind of coming in here and cleaning up some um, parts of the sketch that I really don't need to have for the next um, step, which is to extrude this out or, or make it a little bit more solid. Um, so that's why I'm coming in here and cleaning up these horizontal overlap lines. So um, as I click these little icons, um, the software is free if you're using it for educational purposes. Um, there's different Fusion licenses 
there's quite a few helpful uh, Facebook groups and there's a ton of tutorials on uh, YouTube that are, are much better than mine um, by some real professionals. So uh, Fusion 360 is kind of what I've been using here. And now I'm going to extrude this outer ring. Um, and I'll, when I'm designing stuff, I'll rotate back and forth through um, standard and metric just based on how um, I want this to look. So when I do larger objects and I'm not so much concerned about uh, resolution, I'm going to use inches. When I really want fine details, I'll use, use millimeters. Um, so for this cross, I'm actually going to extrude it into the negative, and you'll see that here in a minute. And what that's going to do is it's going to create a hole right here. Um, and what I started to do is I was originally putting this design together. Um, I kind of decided that, hey, I, I want to do this, um, create a hole for the cross, and then I'm going to do an offset of this cross sketch. And then what that will allow me to do is it'll give that cross a little bit more depth and texture. So I'm going to select all these subcomponents here again. You get to watch that process as I go through it. And I'm going to create another offset of it. And then what I'm going to do from that offset um, that I'm creating here, and then I'm going to go back and I'm going to clean up some of these artifacts like here and here. And then I'm going to scroll out, just make sure I didn't miss anything. Click Finish. And then I'm going to use the Extrude function again and bring this uh, cross a little bit, get, again, give it a little more depth. Um, and what that allows me to do is allows me to do that. And I'm going to take these three little sub windows down here, if I like Bob Ross a little bit. And then I'm going to extrude those into the negative and create an opening. Um, so this is a really basic window. Um, you know, you could add a little bit more ornate um, items there in the middle. There's still a little bit of a void, but I thought just keep it something straightforward and simple as I kind of go along through here. I'm going to hide the sketch over there on the left, zoom out, and then you can see what the completed project looks like. Let me know if you have any questions. Thank you.